my name is King IV and this is uh, another ACL analytics workshop. In this workshop, we'll be covering how to import report and PDF type file formats. So to start off with, these file formats are not ideal and I recommend that you try to get the reports in at least Excel uh, or, or text or CSC or some kind of other more flat file format just because it's a little bit easier to work with. But nonetheless, if you do encounter it, uh, I'm going to show you how to work with it. So this first one we're going to do is this inventory evaluation report. And essentially, it shows the product class here, the product details that fall into that class, the quantity, unit cost, total cost. And you'll see that it repeats for, I think, like nine product, co product categories or classes. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to start off normally. We're going to import our file. We're going to go to data, we're going to go to report, and we're going to go to print image report. So if you have ACL 11, it's already done a lot of work for you, but I am going to delete delete the record. I'm going to start again for those of you who don't have ACL 11. So what we're going to do, what we have to do here is that there's essentially three levels, two, two, only two of the levels I actually use. Uh, the first level is a header level information that's essentially what's what information needs to be on every single row until we reach a new header level information in this case this is the detail level information so this aluminum teapot and it's always going to have a product class of zero one housewares same thing with pressure cookers it's also going to have a same product class so what we need to define first is the header level information so first thing we have to do is just highlight some text that you want to categorize so in this case I want to here categorize product class code. And then I, how do we uniquely identify this line? So you can see the hint up here. So in this case, I know that every product class line has semicolon or colon, colon sorry. And if we go down, you'll see that it's highlighted in gray, all the header level information. That's, that's good. That's handy. And then we are going to go up here and call this product class name. It's good. It's, oh, oh, also I defined this incorrectly. It's actually should be header. So that's a very important distinction or else that information will not flow to every line below. So make sure that you have it on header and we are going, nope. Okay. We're going to highlight the next field that we want on the detail level information. So I'm going to go, instead of putting it to existing record, I'm going to put it to a, a new record and I'm going to call this product number. And then how do we uniquely identify all these detail level information? So what I know is that every product number or what I think it is, every pro every, every detailed line has a product number that's all digits. So I'm going to go here and go uh, numeric lines uh, 6 to 14, or we'll call them 6 to 14, and we'll press OK, and then I'm going to scroll down, take a look, and it looks like it's imported it correctly, so that's good. And we are going to highlight the description, so I'm going to call this product description. And then for the quantity, I always like to highlight one to the right. And the reason why is that oftentimes negative numbers will have the negative sign to the right as opposed to to the left. So I'm going to call this quantity. And I'm going to change this to numeric. And then I'm going to see that zero decimal places, which is fine with me. And then I'm going to do the same thing for unit cost. See that's two decimal places, which it is. That's okay. And then I'm going to go total cost. Two decimal places. That's good. Scroll down, make sure everything's caught and nothing's missing. Looks like we're good. Oh, okay. I did make a mistake. I'm sure some of you caught it. Actually made this uh, header level. Should be detail. There you go. So it's always important to make sure you do things correctly. I'm going to call this inventory evaluation. 
situation. And then it gives you a chance to double check everything. And then what you'll see here is now houseware is on every single line. So looks like it did import everything correctly. So how do we check if we're right? So the one way to check if we're right is we are going to classify on product code and we are going to subtotal our total cost. So if we were to open up the report, in theory, you'll see right here we have a subtotal. These ones should line up. So we'll see here, 34,000, 34,954. You'll see that 20,554, 114,055, 89,018, 42,000, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a quick and easy way to double check. It looks like we've done it correctly. Next thing we're gonna import is the PDF. So this one's actually a little bit trickier because this is actually not a standard report, but I want to show you how can you do it with something much more difficult. And in this case, we're actually gonna import just page one. But you can import all the pages. In this case, these rail statistics include multiple reports, so it's not ideal to import them all at once. So here, we first need to identify the header level information. So it looks like here it has the type of a type of uh, type of occurrence or casualty. Uh, in this case, it's accidents. So I'm going to highlight all the way out here. I'm going to call this category. So how do I uniquely identify categories? It looks like all the details ones have spaces in, and that these uh, header level ones ones are not blank on these first three characters. So I'm going to go he highlight these first three characters, and I'm going to go. Uh, I'm gonna go non-blank. I could go alpha, but just in case uh, there are numbers for whatever reason, the first three characters, then I don't want that to happen. So you'll see here, but it's actually highlighted these areas. Actually, I made the same mistake. It's actually header level information. And what you'll see here is accidentally imported these areas as well. It's not as big a deal. Uh, it only really matters if we miss the header level information but I'm going to make it right. So what you'll notice is that on the header level information, there's always a number subtotaling them out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to highlight this four. Nope, okay, I'm actually gonna to go to edit record and I'm gonna go and, and then from here, I'm gonna highlight this, there we go. And I'm gonna say uh, that it's numeric. So 6565 is numeric. And we'll see there, it's no longer highlighting that section. It's highlighting all the header level information, so that's good. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go highlight the description. And I'm gonna go new record, and I'm gonna call it description. And I'm gonna press okay. And now it's gonna ask me to identify all the detailed ones. So I'm gonna go these three areas are blank. So that's good. So that's a good start. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and, and I'm going to make it detailed. And I'm going to say, and this one right here, the first fourth character is non-blank. Perfect. Looks like it's imported everything correctly. And I'm only going to import one number. I'm going to import this one number here. I'm going to call it Stats 2014, but feel free to import all the numbers. And it looks like it's caught everything. And I'm going to call this underscore rail stats. In this case, I didn't classify stats here as uh, numeric, but we're going to classify there. And I'm going to go finish. And now we have it imported. How are we gonna double check? Again, we're gonna classify, and we're gonna double check with the numbers. So we're gonna open up the report, and we'll see that it's 94 for accidents. It's 94 for accidents. And then it's gonna be 19 for accidents involving dangerous goods. 
that actually doesn't sound too pleasant. 19 here. So you see that you've imported everything correctly now. So hopefully everyone's learned something from this. And if you haven't had a chance to check out uh, ACL Introduction to ACL Analytics Lessons 1 to 8, I highly recommend those, especially if you're just starting out and learning ACL. That will walk you through all the basics of ACL from importing, extracting, joins, uh, um, if statements, defining fields, a lot of great material there. So uh, if you have any questions or comments, I feel free, feel free to leave them below. If there's any other areas that you want me to cover within ACL, uh, just let me know there as well. And I look forward to speaking to you next time.